So this is my first video in Android layouts. So we are going to see different kinds of layouts that we can design in Android front page. Okay, so the first one would be absolute layout. The second one is linear. The third one is frame. The fourth one would be relative layout. And the fifth one is table layout. The sixth one is grid layout. The seventh one is completely new layout called constraint layout. So the first layout we are going to check out is absolute layout so what are the important attributes in this absolute layout so let us check it okay so whenever you place any control in the layout any control in the sense button text view edit text whatever it may be so whenever you place it in the layout so two important attribute here is capture for each whatever the control you are placing in the layout so what is that the two particular attributes so layout underscore x and layout underscore y so so the position from where the x y is placed is so the x y position 0 comma 0 is started from the top left corner of the layout okay so, so whichever elements are placed using this are placed in the layout. So these two attributes are the main important in this particular absolute layout. Okay, so this layout is actually deprecated and you can use other layouts instead. So deprecated doesn't mean that you cannot use that layout so you can use that layout but it is not recommended so why it is not recommended so due to some disadvantages the layout is deprecated so let's check out how the elements are placed in the absolute layout so once placing the layout so once creating the layout so i'll demonstrate how to add controls in that particular layout so how the attributes are captured in that particular layout. So now in this tutorial, so we are just going to check out practically how the attributes are recorded in the absolute layout. So first let me open the, so I have already opened the Android Studio. So in this, I'm just going to create a new layout so you can just click on the layout folder right click new and go for XML choice so in the layout XML file so actually so it is the root tag is in a linear layout so you can change this to absolute so you can change this to absolute layout so this is so this layout file name it's the name of your layout you are going to assign so you are you are going to create it okay so let me mark it this as absolute layout underscore absolute okay so just click finish off Okay, here comes my new layout file. So this is actually your graphical representation of the layout you are using. So you can just drop, drag and drop elements from here to from this palette screen to this particular preview. Okay, so so let me go to the coding section so so <coughs> as i already mentioned you that so this particular absolute layout is repeated deprecated so whenever anything is deprecated in the android 
so they would be denoting it by striking out so so why this particular text is striked out means that it is duplicated so and it is not recommended so let let us first check what are the what are all the functions of this particular layout so as i previously mentioned so there are two important attributes whichever control you place in this particular layout so that control would be captured with two important layout uh, sorry two important attributes so that is layout underscore x and layout underscore y so before placing up any controls in the layout so i mean this part so this is the layout so it is occupied fully in the screen so starting from here to down so the bottom okay so first let's check it out so what are all the attributes are so what this kind something some new or less given so let's check it out what is that so so it has mentioned xml ns so what it means so it is just like a namespace so xml namespace so and it is marked with the prefix android so it is assigned to some something like an url so it is actually not an url it is an uri so uniform resource identifier so this particular uri is designed by google so so you can so that uri is assigned to this particular prefix called android so whenever you use this android keyword in any of the controls it lists up your properties that means its attributes okay so my layout starts here and it ends here so the starting tag of any controls or layouts would contain some attributes so so it is just like uh, what is mean by attributes some properties so if you place a button so that button should have a height or a width so just like that each and everything every control and every layout would be having some attributes okay so how can i place that attributes so how can i define the attributes so by using this particular keyword prefix so which is actually assigned to my url google design url so i am just typing out android colon so i am seeing the id actually auto list all the attributes that is applicable for this particular absolute layout okay so i am not going to add any attributes in that particular layout so instead what i am going to do is so let me first make something in my layout by dragging and drop so let me switch back to design design tab okay so i really don't want this uh, right now so this this is actually um blueprint of this particular layout so i'm just keeping out my layout graphical representation alone so i'm just picking up a button and placing up placing it in the center okay so this buttons properties are all listed here so you can also assign your properties here so whatever things you do in here so let me mark it as okay so whatever thing you assign it here will be reflected sorry 
so this is this is actually an id so i do have text yes here <coughs> so okay so when i change it that thing is changed here too okay so um, let me check it out the important attributes whichever that would be captured whenever using the absolute layout so i'm just switching back to my text view okay so i have just placed a button here in the layout so uh, so inside this particular absolute layout my button is placed so what are the important attributes here so absolute uh, layout underscore x and layout underscore y so so x it is mark 136 dp so y what is layout and layout underscore y value is 151 dp okay so where does this value starts and where does this particular so why this x y coordinates are captured so so absolute layout has a future of um, marking up layout underscore so capturing capturing two important attributes as i mentioned previously so i told that my x y position would be starting from the top left corner of this layout so my top left corner where is it so from here so from here to this position so that is my 166 db so this is your x position okay so how can i market it my y position so this thing starting from the top to the corner of the starting of the button is y position yes so actually this thing this top corner of the button is your x position x y position okay so whatever elements i am placing in here so everything would be capturing with x y attributes and this thing so layout underscore height layout underscore width so would be a common attribute for all the controls so whichever control you place inside that particular layout so every control would have a height and width okay so each and everything is marked up with some x y position so the special is specialty of this particular so special not a specialty so the future of this particular absolute layout is so these two attributes so the elements would be captured and placed with the x y position so these two are important layouts of absolute layout okay so why this particular layout is deprecated so deprecated means something it is not recommended so why it is not recommended so actually this particular layout is deprecated for some disadvantages so what is that disadvantages so whenever i place controls in one layout so everything would be in the sequential order so suppose if i get a update in my layout so my client wants to include something in the middle okay so i want to change everything that is available below the layout 
So whichever things that is available below the layout, I have to change that XY position to. So when I add something in between, the below values does not alter itself. So that's the main drawback of this particular absolute layout. So since because of this reason, this particular absolute layout is duplicated. Okay, so hope you all enjoyed this video. So the next one would be the, I'm sorry, linear layout. Okay, bye. Thanks.